Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Footech 360. In this video, we are starting Footech lecture number eight, topic Food Safety and Standards Act 2006. So watch the video till end. Without any further delay, let's get started. First, we will start with the timeline of food laws in India. In 1937, committee appointed by Central Advisory Board of Health was there at the preliminary stage. In 1954, Prevention of Food Adulteration Bill passed and came into effect from June 1st, 1955. In 1988, the Prime Minister's Council on Trade and Industry appointed subject group of food and agro industries, which had recommended for one comprehensive legislation on food with a food regulatory authority concerning both domestic and export markets. In 2004, Joint Parliamentary Committee on Pesticides Residues, in its report in 2004, emphasized the need to coverage all present food laws and to have a single regulatory body. In 2005, Standing Committee of Parliament on Agriculture submitted for integrated food laws. Finally, Indian Food Safety Standards Bill 2005 is signed into law. In 2006, Food Safety and Standards Act 2006 came into enforcement. On 5th of August 2008, FSSI constituted. On 5th of May 2011, FSS rules are notified into Gazette. On 5th of August 2011, FSS rules and regulations came into enforcement. So, what is FSSI? Food Safety and Standards Authority of India is an autonomous body established under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. The FSSI has been established under the Food Safety and Standards Act 2006. The authority also has eight regional offices located in Delhi, Guwahati, Mumbai, Kolkata, Cochin, Lucknow, Chandigarh, and Chennai. It has 19 referral laboratories notified by FSSI, 88 state or union territory laboratories located throughout India, and 172 laboratories are NABL accredited private laboratories notified by FSSI. FSSI published some books, namely the Yellow Book, Orange Book, the Purple Book. the pink book and the dark book the yellow book is aimed at inculcating wholesome food habits at a young age as habits forms in our early years stay with us for life the orange book serves a guide for general practices recommended for ensuring safe and nutritious food at the workplace the purple book contains food standards and practices to be followed by restaurants the pink book has practical tips and information about food safety and nutrition that indian households need on a daily basis Detect adulteration with rapid test dark booklet is a compilation of common quick tests for detection of food adulteration at household by the citizens themselves so as to induce awareness among the consumers about food safety. All these books are available free of cost in FSSI official website link as given in the description. Now let's talk about Food Safety and Standards Act 2006. The Food Safety and Standards Act 2006 is act to consolidate the laws relating to food and to establish the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India for laying down science based standards for articles of food and to regulate their manufacture, storage, distribution, sale and import to ensure availability of safe and wholesome food for human consumption and for matters connected herewith or incidental thereto. The safety of food is vital to all consumers and food businesses. Consumers must have confidence that the food they buy and eat will be what they expect. Food will do them no harm and they are protected from adulteration or fraud. All the food safety legislation affects everyone in the country. It is particularly relevant to anyone working in the production, processing, storage, distribution and sale of the food. No matter how large or small the business, this includes non-profit making organizations also. Food Safety and Standards Act 2006 consolidates various acts and orders that had earlier handled food related issues in various ministries and departments such as Prevention of Food Adulteration Act 1954, Fruit Products Order 1955, Meat Food Products Order 1973, Vegetable Oil Products Order 1947, Edible Oils Packaging Order 1988, Milk and Milk Products Order 1992. FSSA was consequently established in 2008 but the work within the food authority effectively began in 2011 after its rules and key regulations were notified the act aims to establish a single reference point for all matters relating to food safety and standards by moving from multi level multi departmental control to a single line of command for functional purposes FSSA has divided into two committees scientific committee and central advisory committee scientific committee to look into the matters related to food standards and 
Central Advisory Committee to look into the matters relating to compliance and inspections. Chapters of Food Safety and Standards Act The Food Safety and Standards Act empowered by the Government of India has been divided into 12 chapters which discuss in detail the impact, regulations, authorities that the Act carries with it to empower the safety of food products. Chapter 1 is Preliminary This chapter basically gives the introduction to the Act, what it stands for, what are the definitions related to the Act and also declared that the Union is taking the food industry under its control for the purpose of public interest. This chapter also declared that the applicability of the FSS Act will be throughout India. Chapter 2 is FSSAI Chapter 2 is basically about the setting up of Food Safety and Standards Authority of India in order to fully exercise the powers and carry out the responsibilities and functions assigned to it by the FSS Act. Chapter 2 also tells about the composition of the members of the Food Authority and the hierarchical structure of the authority. FSSAI will contain a chairperson and 22 other members in it. At the very least, one third of those 22 members have to be women. Chapter 3 is General Principles of Food Safety Chapter 3 of the Food Safety and Standards Act focuses on the food safety, the purpose for which the Act and the body under its guidance FSSA has been established. Chapter 4 is General Provisions as to Articles of Food such as Use of Food Additives or Processing Aid, Contaminants, Toxic Substances, Heavy Metals, Pesticides, Veterinary Drugs, Antibiotic Residues, Microbiological Counts, Genetically modified foods, organic foods, functional foods, proprietary foods, packaging and labeling of foods. Finally, restrictions on advertisements and prohibition as to unfair trade practices. Chapter 5 Provisions related to import. No person shall import into India any unsafe or misbranded or substandard food or food containing extraneous matter or any articles of food for the import of which a license is required under the any act or rules and regulations except in accordance with the conditions of the license and any article of the food in contravention of any other provision this act or any rules or regulations made thereunder or any other act. Chapter 6 is special responsibility to as to food safety. The chapter 6 of the Food Safety and Standards Act basically dictates the responsibilities of the people involved in the food business and how this translates into ensuring the delivery of safe food products to the consumers. These are divided into three broad categories in the FSS Act. 1. Responsibilities of the food business operator. 2. Liability of manufacturers, packers, wholesalers, distributors and sellers. 3. Food recall procedures. Chapter 7. Enforcement of the Act Chapter 7 entails in the great detail the powers and efficient enforcement and compliance with the safety rules for food items being made available to the general population. It also describes the authorities and the officers responsible for enforcing the same via the provision of the Food Safety and Standards Act. Chapter 8 Analysis of Food The analysis of food in the Food Safety and Standards Act lays down the procedures and the difficulties involved with checking and analyzing the food products which have been shipped for consumption by the masses. Chapter 9 Offenses and Penalties Chapter 9 of the Food Safety and Standards Act lays down the foundation for the provisions of the non-compliances of the food business to deliver safe food to consumers and hence lists down a comprehensive list of offenses and penalties imposed thereof on the violations of the regulations. Chapter 10 Adjudication and Food Safety Appellate Tribunal The Food Safety Appellate Tribunal is about the matters related to the offences committed under violation of any of the regulations directed and laid on by the Food Safety and Standards Act of 2006. Chapter 11 Finance, Accounts, Audit and Reports This section of the Food Safety and Standards Act basically deals with the financing, maintaining of books, audits and audit reports of entities involved in the food business activities as well as the food authority. Provisions listed out in the chapter of the FSS Act have the requirements such as the budget of the food authority, finances of the food authority, accounts and audit of the food authority, annual report of food authority. Chapter 12 is miscellaneous. This chapter includes powers of central and state government and also milk and milk products order as given below. This is just an outline of 12 chapters of FSS Act 2006. You can refer the full details from the FSSI official website or from our Telegram channel. 
Now let's try some important MCQs on the topic FSS Act 2006. Link is in the description. If you found this video helpful, like this video and share this information to your friends. To see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from us.